Hey everyone, Paul Stevens here, LunchHourWeb.com. Today I wasn't planning on making a video, but I got started doing some work on my website and decided that this was too good of a tool to pass up. So what I'm going to be showing you today is how to set defaults on all of your elements that you add to a page using Zoho Sites. Stick around and I'll show you how to get that done. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is show you how to change the elements on your website using Zoho Sites, and that includes, you know, every time in the past, and you might have seen this on an earlier video of mine, whenever I was adding a paragraph, I was going in, highlighting everything, and then changing my font to a different font, different size, different format, and so on. Same with heading, if it was the default, for the theme that I chose was a different font style or size that I'd like, I'd have to change that every time I create a blog. And as I'm creating more and more blogs, this is just being an extra process, extra step every time. So today I wanted to show you how to get that changed as a default. So it looks, you have consistent theme, consistent look throughout your whole website, and it helps prevent you from having to go make those changes every time you add a blog post or change any elements on your page. To do this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to Theme and Visual Editor. And that's gonna bring up this box up here at the top of the screen. And you notice it's broken into different sections. You have your background, a section, heading, links, menu, submenu, highlight box, tables, and newsletter description. Now you can just go through these sections one at a time and set everything as you want. So for example, on your background, right now on my page I have a white background, just a plain white background. I could change it to stripes and give it a moment to reload. I can also change the background color. Press OK. And it's taking just a minute to reload on my screen. Oh, there it's actually giving it this. This is the section of the stripes right here. Change the pattern. I can align it, tile it, upload my own image, and so on. I could also do a, a second background. And let's see where it puts that background. Oh, wow. Up here at the top. So as you can see, um, kind of a funky looking... Uh, color right now. I'm going to go ahead and reset that for now. I, I'm okay with the default background, default color. This black header bar and then this background right here and the left it right there. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, I can always change that later. I will change this later to make it look how I want. The next one is your section and this is the, the main part of your page. So we have the body, which we can change the font, size, and color background again this is where I was thinking earlier it would change and this is going to be this background down here I'm pretty sure yep there we go give it a little uh, I'm not even sure grayish leather look to it I'm going to change turn that off uh, more importantly I'm going to leave most of the theme default the same I'm going to leave the header looking the same the color th scheme looking scheme what I want to do is change the font so let's go ahead and go to font size and color almost always want most of my font to be Tahoma and you'll see it update down here in real time and to make it a little bit easier to read on a mobile device I'm going to change up to 14 point font and I could change the color if I wanted to as well I'm not going to worry about that come down here make the same changes to my sidebar even though I don't have a sidebar on my main page, I do have it on my blog page. I want to make sure uh, that all looks consistent. Maybe I'll make that only 12-point font just to, to make it look a little bit different than, than my main uh, content on the page. And go through, make the same changes on my footer, my header, uh, caption, site name, everything like that. I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, after this video. I just want to quickly show you how these different screens work. Then you can go through, set the font size and family size, and font family, excuse me, 
to whatever you want. So let me just jump back here to my blog. Actually, no, let me go to my about page. I have like some of this stuff in quotes, this big red, this isn't a textbook quote. And maybe I want that to be like heading three. And every time I choose heading three, I know it's going to use this red font. And this can be my heading one, which is really big in the color I want. Uh, maybe the signature is heading five, you know, whatever it is I want to do. And that's going to always, whenever I, I just know, I want to put a little quote in. I'm just going to highlight it, choose heading three, and it's always going to have the same consistent look and feel. Uh, again, make your changes in your sidebar and your footer. Under links, these are, of course, are whenever you have links to external websites or other parts of your website. For example, Instagram right here, you can change the, the font color, the size, the decoration. I'm going to leave most of that as default. That's pretty standard around the uh, everywhere you go on the web. The next one is your menu. This is this home about and blog page right there. Let's go ahead and jump that up pretty big. I like that navigation to be really bold, really apparent to people. There's sub menus when you have if you have pages, so you hover your cursor over home and maybe there are three or four pages below that. You can change that there as well. Highlight box, this is going to Again, you can change your body, your sidebar, your footer, box style. When you highlight stuff in your header, for example, in your heading, it's going to be how this highlights. And that actually might be under the heading um, section. But you get the idea. Heading one. Oh, I'm sorry. Again, back to the headings. Heading one, level one through five. If you highlight it, um, what's it going to look like? Tables, I haven't added any tables in here. You can mess with that as well. Newsletter subscription, you got that as well. So anyway, I'm uh, sorry I made this video a little bit longer than I was expecting to today, but this is a great tool. Remember, under can under themes and visual editor, you can make all these changes without having to worry about the CSS, uh, custom, um, excuse me, custom style sheet. You don't have to worry about editing any of that or any of the source code. You can make these changes yourself, make your website look more like you want it to look, and always have that consistent theme and brand name across all your pages, as well as saving you time every time you create a blog post. You don't have to change the font, size, color, text, or anything like that. Guys, I hope that was helpful. Comments below. A uh, real short video today, although it's looking at about nine minutes. Sorry for the blank. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the information helpful and useful for whatever it is you're doing on the web. If you liked it, please subscribe by clicking the icon above. Otherwise, you can leave comments, suggestions down below if you have any, and I will make sure to answer. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.